Just like cream teas and moaning, England brought football to the world and played in the first official international match in 1872. A real thriller. England's first seven internationals were all against Scotland, but after losing 7-2, they decided to play Wales. And they stuck to playing the home nations until 1906 when they joined FIFA and beat Austria 6-1 in their first game outside of the British Isles. After a little break for a war and a load more games against Scotland, the 1920s saw England's first game at Wembley against Scotland. After giving football to the world, England decided then it was their ball and they were taking it home with them. They left FIFA and missed the first three World Cups. But after one more war, it was time for England to show the world how to play the game again. They rejoined FIFA and finally played their first World Cup in 1950, where they lost to the USA and got knocked out early. 60s started with England once again refusing to play a tournament. They didn't enter the first European Championship, which is a shame because neither did Italy or West Germany, so they could have won it. When they did take part, they got knocked out by France in the preliminaries. 1966 saw the next World Cup. England made it to the finals where they faced West Germany. Shockingly, they won 4-2 with the help of a goal that definitely went over the line. Their manager Alf Ramsey became a hero. Normal service resumed in the 1970s, where after a big loss to West Germany, England failed to qualify for another tournament that decade. So it was time to sack Alf Ramsey and replace him with dodgy Don Revy, who soon fled England to take a job in the footballing hotbed that is the Middle East. The 80s saw a huge turnaround, where England actually qualified for some tournaments, where they played pretty badly. The highlight was a quarter-final defeat to Argentina in the 86 World Cup. And on to the 90s, where football finally came home to Germany. Bobby Robson got England to the semis of Italia 90, where they lost to West Germany. Next was Graham Taylor, who failed to take England to the World Cup and was swiftly sacked. His replacement, Terry Venables, got England to another semi-final defeat to Germany in Euro 96. Terry resigned after press stories about his finances. In 98, the clean-cut Glenn Hoddle took England to a World Cup defeat by Argentina, but he was soon sacked after some interesting statements about karma. Kevin Keegan did all right, but walked out after getting beaten by Germany. The 90s also saw England's first foreign manager, Sven Juran Eriksson. He got England to a couple of tournaments where they played terribly and was quite the philanderer. The FA decided they needed an English manager and appointed Steve McLaren. But despite his superior Englishness, they didn't even qualify for Euro 2008. So the FA decided they needed a foreign manager, Fabio Capello. He got England to the 2010 World Cup, where they were knocked out by Germany. Fabio then scarpered, leaving England adrift until the dynamic Roy Hodgson took the helm as England marched boldly onwards into Euro 2012.